representatives of the uh, Privy Council Office, the Prime Minister's Office, bureaucrats from Aboriginal Affairs, the political staff from Aboriginal Affairs. What I witnessed was how they treated our regional chief and, and executive for AFN, how they uh, dismissed some of the statements about treaty principles that were being made. But what offended me the most was their openness to dialogue, which is code for legislation, which is code for buying time until they use their legis abuse their legislative authority to legislate our rights. Actions speak louder than words. And I remind every federal official of this every time I meet with them. The Prime Minister's apology from June 2008 to our Indian residential school survivors. Empty words, empty apology. The actions of, of his government takes away all the promises, all of these empty words. Their actions speak much louder than, than their words of promoting dialogue. We're open. The federal government is open to dialogue. Those are meaningless words. Those, those, those are offensive words to the treaty relationship. Our First Nation wants to have this dialogue. Our First Nation wants the fulfillment of treaty, as does every other nation that's a party to treaty across this land. We will not get there with junior level communications people, with junior level policy people from PCO, PMO, and Aboriginal Affairs. If you look at the act of treaty, an act of, of, of sovereignty, that's not being practiced by us agreeing to sit with bureaucrats and low level officials. They are not decision makers. They are not practicing the authority. They do not have the mandate, admittedly, at that meeting, but they're open to dialogue about it. What is it that you Indians want? That's offensive. Senior Oversight Committee. We have to ask for the Governor General presence. We have to ask for the Queen's representatives. We have to ask for the decision makers to be present, to, to have that dialogue on treaty enforcement and living up to the spirit and intent of our treaty. We have to get our acts together. What is it? What is it? What are our interests? There's common principles, but then there's regional specific matters. What are our interests? We have to be real with ourselves. We can't, can't hide, and, and I agree that we, we cannot wait. But the practice of authority on the part of Canada is not there. This will be a table where the authority will not be practiced. We're open to dialogue. We're open to receiving your proposals. That's not meaningful treaty implementation dialogue. That's code for delay, delay, delay. Minimize, minimize, mitigate our liability, minimize the First Nations rights under treaty. So we need to elevate this, and I encourage the AFN executive to insist upon that, to insist that this is elevated to the levels that it needs to be more appropriately Thank as you, an act of sovereignty. Thank you. Thank you, Chief.